Hey Gav, uh, as you know, I watch a lot of films because I someday want to make films and I think the best way to learn about films is to actually watch a lot of them and kind of pick stuff up. And one thing I've picked up is one of the most annoying conventions in films, as you know. Uh, if a character says, as you know, it basically means the writers need to get some information across to the audience and the only way they could think of doing this is to have a character say to another one, as you know, and then tell them something that that character would already know. As you know, you just joined us. As you know, we've been fighting this war for five years. I mean, there is never any reason you should start a sentence with as you know, because the person you're talking to will already know it. As you know, we're cousins. We get along very well, we've lived together for a long time, but now I live in... where do I live? I live in Canberra and you live in Brisbane, and I miss you like crazy. And one of the things I miss most about living with you is that we used to sit and watch through DVDs together. We watched, we watched all of House together, we watched all of, I don't know, half a dozen other shows together, and we've watched countless, countless films together and just, you know, chatted throughout the film and, and, and shared opinions. Uh, since I now live, as you know, I now live in Canberra, you live in Brisbane, and it makes it very hard to watch films together. So what I thought I'd do is I'd get some films that I've really enjoyed, uh, put them in, a, in the mail, send them up to you, and, you know, even though we're not watching them together, we can still kind of bond over these films. So here are some films that I'm sending you. Secretary. Uh, I can't remember if you've already seen this or not, so I'm sending it up. If you haven't, watch it if you have. Watch it again, it's quite good. Uh, it's a weird film. I'm warning you that now. If you go and expecting a regular film, you're not going to enjoy it. It's a very, very strange film, but if you're expecting a strange film, you might enjoy it. I don't know. It's got James Spader, who we both love, and at one point Maggie Gyllenhaal is naked, so enjoy that. American Dreams, I know you've seen before, we've watched it together many times, and while it's not a great film, I remember whenever we were looking for something to watch, you'd quite often pull out American Dreams, you really enjoyed it for some reason, Mandy Moore, Hugh Grant, I can understand that. So ever since I've taken it away, you obviously haven't had a chance to watch it, so I'm sending it back up, and you can enjoy that. Speaking of Hugh Grant, uh, Sense and Sensibility is based on a Jane Austen book, and it has Hugh Grant in it. I know you're not a huge Austen fan, but it's surprisingly good, I recommend checking it out, tell me what you think. But I'm a cheerleader is a queer film. It's about a, a lesbian who finds out that she's a lesbian and goes and has all kinds of lesbian adventures. Uh, I picked it up because it was cheap and I, really, I didn't have any queer film. And I felt like that was a whole genre that I was missing out. I've got foreign film, I've got all kinds of different film genres. I didn't have any queer film. And so I picked this up. I wasn't crazy about it, but I'm really curious as to hear what your thoughts are, because it got a lot of good reviews and a lot of people I know really liked it. Rollercoaster Tycoon, uh, not a movie, it's a game, but I know you enjoyed the Rollercoaster Tycoon games. It's the third one, and I didn't get much of a chance to play it, but it looked really good, so I thought you might enjoy it. Uh, you can keep this if you like it. If you don't, just give it to someone else. How I Met Your Mother, American sitcom, great. Surprised at how much I enjoyed this. It's, uh, it's got Alison Hannigan, who was in Buffy, and Jason Segel, who was the main guy and the writer of How I Met Your Mother. Uh, I actually am including the second season as well. It's a bit like Veronica Mars, it takes about half a season to get good, but when it gets good, it's really good. So I recommend sticking with it, telling me what you think. There is a problem, they didn't take the security out when I bought this, and I did buy it, I didn't steal it, but I don't know uh, how you're going to get it open, so good luck with that. Uh, Kill Bill, you've seen, uh, you own, in fact you own this one. I accidentally took it with me, so I'm sending it back. I don't know if you can see, because it's a bit bright, this is called Not Going Out. It's a British sitcom, and I'm not sure how to describe it. I picked it up because I'd read a lot about it, and it's really interesting because it's gaggy. Like, the impro term gaggy, this sitcom is non-stop gags. And at first that's really annoying, but then you start laughing, because some of the gags are actually really good, and you get into it. So, I, if you get a chance, watch through this and tell me what you think, because I enjoyed it. But it's kind of terrible at the same time. It's an interesting mix. Uh, Lee Mack and Tim Vine, who are both on The Sketch Show, which I know you liked, so you should enjoy it. Wolf Creek, another film that I accidentally took. This is actually yours, and I'm just returning it. I'm not lending this to you. Uh, it's a good film, enjoy it. You showed it to me, and then I accidentally stole it. So have that back. Okay, this is The Practice. This is a show by David E. Kelly, who's the guy who made Boston Legal. In fact, The Practice is what spun off Boston Legal. And it's really interesting, because this is like Boston Legal without the sex and without the jokes. And it's amazing. It's, it's very, very good. It's not funny, it's more of a drama than anything, but it's really well made. And it took me a while to get into it, but then I didn't. I just loved all the characters. Uh, so I really want to share this with you, because I think you'll enjoy it as much as I did. Uh, this one, this is only the first season, which is, oh, it's released in Australia at the moment. There's seven seasons total, so you'll probably watch it, get to the end, and be like, oh, I want to watch more. Tough pickies.
but enjoy it. I actually watched this, then watched right through Boston Legal again. That's how much of a law kind of mood I was in. Russell Brand, Doing Life Live, is Russell Brand's uh, stand-up comedy DVD. I can't remember if you like Russell Brand or not. I'm pretty sure you hate his hair, which doesn't make sense to me. His actual stand-up, not that good. It's disappointing. It's short. It's not that funny. It's not bad, but it's not great. And he's such a funny guy, I'd expect it to be better. But then, in the special features, it's him doing radio with Noel Fielding, and it's fantastic. I recommend this for the special features alone. Skip the main thing if you want to, just watch him and Noel Fielding talking to crazy people. Uh, you and I watched through the first season of Veronica Mars together, and then I pissed off to Canberra and took the second season with me. Here's the second season. It's not quite as good as the first one, but it's close. I've, I've actually got the third season, but I'm not lending it to you because I haven't watched it myself yet. But second season, pretty good. Check it out. I don't know if you can see the price sticker there, but this cost me $2.99, and for a $3 film, it's fantastic. This is the best $3 film I've ever seen. I don't know if you'll like it, but I really enjoyed it because I paid $3 for it. It's not great. It's, it's a very strong farce, which is a genre that I'm interested in, but that might mean nothing to you. But watch this, tell me what you think, because I loved it, but I only paid $3 for it. We've both been watching through Hustle together. I can't remember how far you got, so here's season four. Uh, I think you've watched the first three seasons with me, if not... Here's the fourth season. Skip ahead, you don't miss much. Uh, this is actually my favourite season, and watch it, you'll understand why. You might not like it as much, I don't know. So watch it, tell me what you think. I was really looking forward to lending you Breaking Bad, because it's fantastic, but then, when I was up in Brisbane with you, we saw a cheap copy, so you bought that. But, if you're watching this and you're not Gavin, find Breaking Bad and watch it, it's amazing. I recommend watching the first three episodes one episode a day, then the next three all in the same day, then the last two one a day. That's my personal recommendation viewing schedule, do whatever you like. You already own Life on Mars, um, this is just to show you that I found my copy so I'm gonna watch this. So thanks for offering to let me yours, but mine showed up. Hoorah! I don't think you've ever seen 30 Rock, so I'm lending you the first two seasons. Um, I enjoyed it, not as much as How I Met Your Mother, but more than other American sitcoms. Uh, Tina Fey, Alec Baldwin, very funny, good combination. Watch it, tell me what you think. I like it a lot, I don't love it as much as some people just adore it. So, I'm in the middle there, I'm curious as to what you're, where you fall on the 30 Rock scale. I also have a whole heap of CDs that I want to lend you, but I don't think that they're actually going to fit in the mailbag, so I'll save them for another time. But you can expect in the mail in the next few days this pile of DVDs. So I know you're on uni holidays, and if you ever get bored, you shouldn't, because here is a whole pile of DVDs for you to watch, and tell me what you think. Uh, actually, yeah, that's my challenge to you. Make a video response telling me what you thought of these. Either one video response covering lots of them, or lots of little video responses for each one. It's up to you. But enjoy them, and I love you. Mwah. <laughs> Hello! Hi Elizabeth, as you know you're my sister and even though this video wasn't directed at you I'm pretty sure you're gonna watch this so you can expect a surprise if you don't watch this it'll be even more of a surprise in the mail in the next few days I'm sending you season one and two of Goodnight Sweetheart uh, which is a TV show about a man who travels back in time and I think you've seen bits and pieces of it I've been watching through it and I'm really enjoying it so I thought I'd send that to you, lend that to you, see if you enjoyed it I'm also sending Across the Universe, which is that Beatles musical that I told you to watch and you never did. I'm sending that to you so you have to watch this. And this is a series of documentaries called The Up Series. Um, I actually bought it online. They sent me two, so I'm sending one to you. It's about a group of seven-year-olds who were filmed and interviewed and then every seven years for the rest of their life, well up until now when they're I think about 48, uh, they get re-interviewed so it's really interesting to watch them kind of grow throughout their life and see how much of an effect the show has on their life that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm sending that. Good night, sweetheart, and across the universe. I love you too. And Elizabeth, that same challenge applies to you. I challenge you to tell me what you thought of these by a video response. Yeah.